digging for gold. Now, do you think it's joined? Let's have a feel. Oh, there's a join there. There's a join. It's definitely joined. Right, for a while, I've wanted to do something a bit different. So I've made this, which is my representation of a Bronze Age Dirk. Because that's where your holes would go, and that's where your handle would go on to. Which was like, I suppose, as a kind of dagger, wasn't it, really? So anyway, managed to get hold of <laughs> some of this, which is silicon bronze. So bronze, bronze age dagger. What do you reckon? So what we've got to do, we need to make green sand. Look at that, it's for casting. We then need to make a frame and we need to melt it using something like that, which is a crucible. Let's see if we can do it. I reckon we could. It's a magic shed. We can do everything in the magic shed. Hey everybody, I want to introduce you to someone who's up helping me today. A very good friend of mine, Scott. Say hello, Scott. Hello, Scott. Yeah, very good. Very good. As you notice, he's got a coffee in his hand because he just doesn't function without coffee. I'll have to do about 20 today. Here's me and Scott are going to um, make the frame up now for this uh, this casting. And we're just going to kind of like wing it and see how we get on. So stay tuned for the ride. Look at that. Bring that this way a bit, Scott. You can't see it. Look at that. Now, look. That's If I'd made that, well, it'd probably be a triangle. <laughs> there we are. So what we're going to do, guys, is make two frames now, like this. Small frames. We don't want it too big. Do you think that's... We can cut yeah, it cut it, bring it No, I think, it's bit, I think that's about right. Yeah, just a quick knock up. And then, obviously, once we fill with front, uh, sand, cut and pop that one in. Pop this yeah. one on the top. A bit closer. And it should just nicely sit down in there. And that'll give you two frames. Right, guys. We have there kiln dried sand. And we have cat litter. Now, this is clay cat litter, and this is the clumping stuff. It is the clumping stuff. And then, what you do, my beautiful assistant here, is now using a nutri bullet. And we're sifting this out because it's going to be very fine um, before we mix it with the sand. So that's where we're at. We've got two troublemakers here, so I just tell them to be quiet on the set. Doing well, aren't they? Look at them, look. Drinking. Oh, there we are, there they are alive. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what we're doing, a kilo of sand, so we're doing 10%, so it'll be 100 grams of, of clay into here, and then we've got to give that a really good mix. Um, and then what we'll do is do this in small batches, chuck it in a thing and then add the water to it to make it the, the right consistency. So we've got um, the mixture in a bucket now. So Scott's now going to um, sort that out and, uh, <laughs> and give it a good mix. And we're going to start adding the water to it now. Now the best way we think we can do this is spraying in Scott's idea, which is quite a good idea actually, and just spraying in small amounts until we get the right consistency for what we want. Everybody, we're going to give this a final stir now. Bit of a modification, as you can see. A spoon on a drill. Look at that, working perfectly. So that's completely mixed now with the Exmoor Blades patented mixer. Um, and Scott's just going to show you what it should look like now. So when you clump it together, it should stick together and it should break cleanly. And there you go. So we think we're about right now. All right, so we're going to sift the, Scott's going to sift the first lot just to make sure it's nice and fine going over the mould, as you can see. Look at this. Exmoor Blades does Bronze Age. Excellent. So now Scott's going to tamp it all down. Okay, Scott. So here we go, everybody. Is it going to work? Thank you. 
so right everybody there you can see that's now correct so now it's a case of putting a second frame on mm -hmm. um, and then we'll put a little bit of release agent on on this side on this piece here first actually and as we haven't got talcum powder, yeah moving across me as we haven't got talcum powder we're improvising with some self-raising flour <laughs> we have plain flour but I get the impression self-raising is probably better yeah we want a good rise yeah That's the two moulds now prepared as much as we think we know we're doing and all you guys who've done this before you can put in the comments give us some ideas what we've done wrong etc but this is our first one we're going to do a second mould after this so here we go this world falls out come on that's it <laughs> Well done, Scott. There we are. Well done. That's our pour hose. Here we go. Homemade oven, as you know. We're now running at 1100 degrees in my little homemade oven. Melting the bronze. You have a look at it in there, look. There we go. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Now that's nearly melted now, so we're ready to pour any minute. So get ready. I love you, Jackie. <laughs> right. Okay. How was that? Looks good to me. Look at that. We just done a pour, my friend. <laughs> Here we go then. No, no I haven't done it. Not enough, look. Not enough bronze. Mm. Right, well, there we are, everyone. That's our first attempt, and it was a bit of a failure. We didn't put enough bronze in. This main hole, the feed hole's too big, and we just didn't have enough volume. So, anyway, you know what to do, so we'll do it again. Looks to me that we have made ourselves. Hey, hey! We got ourselves a Bronze Age Dirk. Look at that. Fantastic. Look at the lines on it, guys. Wow. Scott, you've got to be pleased with that, buddy. Yep, absolutely. Look at that. That's fantastic. Right, let's get it in water cleaned up and give a proper look. Okay. Right, there we are, everyone. As you can see, we've got all the lines of the blade. There's a couple of things. We're going to do another cast. Because if you look at the back here, what I think's happened is where our sand clay mix isn't quite right, it's actually managed to push out. But all this is salvageable. You can see I've got all the lines there. Look. And there you go, look. Oh, let's get that way for you. Look at the knife. That's brilliant. So, today, with a bit of help from Scott, Exmoor Blades has gone back to the Bronze Age. So stay tuned because we're not leaving this here. I'm going to make this into a proper functioning Bronze Age Dirk with handle and everything. So stay tuned to part two. There 
there we go. Has it worked? <laughs> Nobody knows. I think so. Yeah, I don't know if it's going all the way. Hopefully. I hope so. There you go, guys. Third attempt, this is. Just let that cool for a bit now, and then we'll, um, we'll demold it and have a look. There well, guys, go. this is the third attempt at the Bronze Age dirt. That was attempt number two, and to be honest with you, I'm well chuffed with that. I think we can definitely do something with that. But this is the third one. Let's have a look, shall we? Like digging for gold. Now, do you think it's joined? Let's have a feel. Oh, there's a join there. There's a join. It's definitely joined. Oh, oh. What do you reckon? Looking promising. Well, hello, Lulia. <laughs> hey, Fantastic. Look at Fantastic. that. Let me just get that in the water because it's burning my hand as we speak. As you can see, it's pretty hot. Very hot. You ready, guys? Now, look at that. That is fantastic, isn't it? That was the second one. Now, the only thing we've got is we've got this pitting, and we know why that is. It's because uh, we weren't dusting fine enough. But as you can see, the detail on that, on that third one is so much better. I've even got the square edges here, look. And on the back side, I don't know if you can see it. Let's bring you in so you can see it. Catch the light. You can see we've even got this on there. So I would say that this is a success. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean these two up. I'm going to put handles on them. And maybe if I'm in the right mood, I might do one as a giveaway. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Scott, for all your help, buddy. No worries. And I'll see you in the next one. There we are. Don't they look absolutely wonderful? Do you know what I mean? A little bit of cleaning up, and they're going to be fantastic. So, as I've already said, join me in the second video. We'll put handles on these, and I think I'm going to do one as a giveaway. So what a fantastic giveaway that's going to be. So st stay tuned, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe like and hit your notification thing ding ding and all that lot bye